what's up guys so i have a quick update to share with you we are still talking about what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are all right so uh first of all as we already know today being the yeah 7 of uh june uh 2024 or uh, as i'm talking to you is the inauguration of uh or should i say opening ceremony or the launching of uh, the vice president resident in abuja i'm talking about the shetima all right so <laughs> guess what journalists were bad from covering you know the um the building the resident yeah and then the according to the excuse given uh, by the government that it is a private resident you understand so journalists were bad from covering the building the interior and all that you understand but we can say something that um you know really got my attention and then um, i want to talk about it now when a when there was um, a bill or a budget for building of this uh vice president resident there was a lot of controversy. Nigerians were not happy. I mean, amid the suffering, the hardship, then billions of naira was appropriated uh, for the building of vice president resident. I mean, I really do not understand. Like, seriously, I don't understand. Now, I am not against <clears throat> anybody if it were to be um, money from uh, maybe personal money or personal cash or whatsoever. But looking at the situation in Nigeria right now, and then you look at the borrowing um, spree of Nigeria, there are some things that are not necessary. Yes, billions of Naira was, uh, you know, budgeted for the building, for the building of uh, VP's residence. But this is money that Nigerians need for more important something. Yes, that is just the truth. For things that are more, more, more important. It is not as if the BP do not have a resident. It is not as if the president, Asso Rock, is there. Even if it has to be a private resident, must it be uh, this period? So according to Wiki, well, I am not familiar with constitution or whatsoever. According to Wiki, that this project was supposed, it was, um, you know, assigned like 14 years ago. This is not the administration where a bill to build a VP's resident was, um, you know, signed. Uh, it happened a long time ago. Then he decided to, you know, fulfill it, build it. Well, that is by the way, but if it was signed a long time ago and then the other president came and go and then the building was not built, money was not expending or expended. So I think um, it wouldn't have been necessary at this point in time. However, let me allow you to listen to what we can say uh, that really got my attention. How uh, Mark Pabio asked him when he will build his own residence. Now listen to what we have to say. Then I will come back and give you the rest of my own personal opinion. Vice President's residence, 2010, 14 years ago. That is when we are commissioning a Vice President's residence. And it was awarded at a cost of 7 billion in 2010. I was abandoned in 2015. It was in January this year that we had a revised budget to make it 21 billion, which is from 7 billion to additional 14 billion. A country that's for a vice president's residence that will take 14 good years. And then Mr. President has come. Within a year, he has made it to be a reality. Yes, 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 yes. And we talk about hope, hope. Look at the hope. A vice president resident, federal government, Nigeria, the giant of Africa awarded 
a contract for number two citizen to resign, to do his work. 14 years ago, seven billion naira. As a country, we cannot, within even one year, pay seven billion to finish vice president resident, where he will settle down and do his work. May God continue to bless Bola Ahmed Tinibu for knowing that if you don't stay in a good environment, you can't put in your best. Environment affects productivity. Environment affects efficiency. By the time you go in here and see what is provided, I'm sure Mr. Vice President, we want to encourage to do more work than where he stands now. But he has said everything here is provided. Everything. As our president, I was talking with the Senate president yesterday, and he told me, when are we building the Senate president residence? <laughs> he said he was coming here today to see the vice president resident and saw that we must provide for the Senate president residence. As a well, Mr. Senate President, you are the one who has a knife. You are the one who has a arm. Well, if you give me money, I'm ready any day, any time. Put it, the body in the budget. We can deliver with you one year. As far as the funds are there. But um, I want to turn to those beggar. When we came up, all right, guys, so you've heard it all from the uh, weekend day, and then the, um, I don't know what else to say uh, because the way Nigeria is going, I mean, there is hunger in the land, a lot of things are going on, a lot of things are happening, and then borrowing, it's, it has become a norm in Nigeria. But Nigeria keeps spending money. We keep spending more than what you know, we are spending on things that are not necessary. Now, quote me right, I'm not saying the vice president resident is not necessary, but, you know, at this point in time, when Nigerians are complaining, where people is crying of hunger, where everybody, everywhere, depression, everywhere, you understand? Well, since we can say the bill to, uh, a bill to build a vice president resident was 14 years ago. That is the reason why you have decided to do it. Who am I to say no? Yes, who am I to say no? All right, guys, Um, maybe we can may also build a resident for the uh, Senate president. That is good luck, Akbabio. You understand? No, Gospel Akbabio, I'm sorry. Um, According to Wike, if the funds are there, remember, we can have another proposed bill that is supplementary budget now nobody knows what the supplementary budget is all about but however i quickly wanted to share that with you if you have anything to contribute put it down in the comment section below